Hi there, this is Valentine and welcome to another Postman tutorial. This time I want to show you how we can use external data files. In this case, this is a JSON file. It contains three iterations and all of them are supposed to go in the request body. So this entire thing should go in the request body. In this tutorial, I will show you how to do it. Opening Postman. I have here a simple request. It goes to httpbin.org slash post. This is just for testing purposes. It allows me to play around with data and to inspect it in the response to understand how things actually work, if they work, before trying it out in production things or in other tests. So I'm here inside the body, inside raw. And as you can see, I do not have anything inside here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to replace if any content in the body with a Postman variable. So double curly braces, I'm going to call it JSON body. And this is all that we need inside the request body. Now going to the pre script, this is where the magic happens. So from the snippets panel, I'm going to set a global variable. And surprise, surprise, I'm going to call this global variable JSON body. Feel free to use any kind of Postman variable you prefer. Just for this quick example, a global will do just fine. And the next thing that you need to know is that we are going to get this variable this data from the json file using the pm api so it's going to be pm.iteration data instead of using something we have used before something like get and getting individual variables not going to use this this time i'm going to use to object what this will do it will give us this entire object so for each iteration we are supposed to get this object and as you can see, it can be even different. So we can have different payloads that we're sending with each request. For example, here we have this property in this next iteration, it's missing. Different kind of data language can be an array, can be null. So it really allows you to have different data sets. This is what the object does. Now, the problem with this is that we want to send JSON, but we have here a JavaScript object. We cannot simply send it as it is, because otherwise we're going to send something that doesn't make any sense. So we need to generate a string from this. Now, the method that comes to our help is json.stringify. So what this does is to get this object, this JavaScript object, and to transform it into a string, into a JSON string that then we can send in our body. So here's no code, here's only JSON. So this is why json.stringify. Okay, making sure we have no errors. So I'm gonna save this and go to the collection and select run. Now, the next step is to go to data and select the file. Because there are three iterations, I'm gonna see here iterations three. You can even preview the data if I want to. But what's important when using httpbin.org is to click here on save responses when playing with a collection runner so that you can actually take a look at the response. So I'm gonna run this iteration. And as you can see, we have now three iterations. We can take a look. If we click on this, we'll be able to see the request body. And the request body seems to look just fine. We can see another one just to make sure it's different. So it looks good. And at the same time, it's important to look at the response body because the important part is to look here at the JSON part. If this is not null, it means that we have managed to send some valid JSON to httpbin.org. And this has been parsed and shown here. This looks very, very good, and it seems that our small piece of code is working without any issues. This is the only trick that you need to know in order to get this to run. Super simple, super effective, and hopefully it helps you in your project. Guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, thank you for subscribing to the channel and commenting and everything. I'm really grateful for all your support. If you can give this video as well a thumbs up, write a comment in the section below if it helped you, and subscribe to this channel. I would more than appreciate it. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye-bye.